efficient neighborhood consensus networks via submanifolds past convolutions. In this work, we seek to find pixel level correspondences between pairs of images in challenging scenarios such as day night matching, scenes with changes across time, or scenes containing repetitive structures, as is frequently the case for indoor scenes. Our motivation is to improve the performance of visual localization in both indoor situations and also outdoor urban localization where there can be changing weather and illumination conditions. In this work, we adopt and extend the neighborhood consensus network model presented at NeurIPS 2018. In particular, we propose improvements that enable faster processing, lower the memory requirements, and allow to obtain more accurately localized correspondences. But before we delve into the details, let's review the classical matching pipeline, which serves as inspiration for our work. Typically, given a pair of input images, a handcrafted detector such as DOG is used to detect local features, which are then described using a handcrafted descriptor such as SIFT. In a second step, tentative matches are established by nearest neighbor search in the descriptor space. Additional constraints such as mutual nearest neighbors can be used to reduce the fraction of incorrect matches. In a third stage, additional global or local constraints can be used to further prune the incorrect matches. Here we illustrate the semi-local neighborhood consensus principle that operates in the following way. Given a correspondence from the previous step, we analyze the existence of supporting matches on its neighborhood. In this case, two other matches are coherent with it, so we deem it as correct. In this other case, no other coherent matches exist, so we deem it as incorrect. Let's now analyze the limitations of this pipeline. The first stage can fail under large illumination changes, such as in the case of day-night matching, as the detector can suffer from low repeatability, limiting the possibilities of obtaining correct correspondences in the later stages. The second stage is sensitive to noise in the descriptors and can therefore remove a large portion of matches. Finally, the semi-local neighborhood consensus method requires a handcrafted heuristic, such as defining a particular size of the neighborhood to be used, as well as a threshold on the number of supporting matches. In our approach, we follow the same three stages of feature extraction, matching and match filtering by neighborhood consensus, but where each stage constitutes a module of a trainable architecture. In addition, we propose a two-stage relocalization module which is used to improve the localization accuracy of the obtained matches. These four stages will now be presented in detail. In the first stage, a feature extraction CNN is used to densely extract features for both input images. Note that there is no feature detection step, thus circumventing the issue of low detection repeatability. In the second stage, we compute tentative matches by performing k nearest neighbor search on the densely extracted features. For every feature in A, we therefore find its top k matches in B. For each of these k matches, we have a 4D tuple of the coordinates ij in A and kl in B of each match, and also a similarity score. These values are stored in a one-sided 4D sparse tensor, containing the matches from A to B. The same procedure can be repeated changing the matching direction and finding the top k matches in A for every feature in B. These values are stored in a different one-sided 4D sparse tensor. The final symmetric sparse correlation tensor containing matching coordinates and scores in both matching directions is obtained on the sum of the two one-sided tensors. Note that each feature has between k and 2k tentative correspondences stored in the sparse correlation tensor. Because there can only be up to one correct correspondence, the sparse correlation tensor needs to be filtered so that the most promising correspondences are retained while the least promising ones are rejected. In order to filter the tentative matches, we propose the sparse neighborhood consensus network that leverages 4D submanifold sparse convolutions in order to process the sparse correlation tensor in a computationally efficient manner. With each additional layer of this CNN, the receptive field in the 4D space of matches increases, 
being able to capture larger and more complex patterns of correspondence. The network then produces filtered matching scores that are used to obtain the final correspondences. These correspondences are established between densely extracted features or an H times W size grid, which has a subsampling factor of 8 with respect to the original image resolution, resulting in poorly localized correspondences. As localization accuracy is important for tasks such as camera pose estimation or 3D reconstruction, we propose a two-stage relocalization module that can improve the localization accuracy of the obtained correspondences. To this end, we first compute auxiliary densely extracted features, which are obtained along a finer grid of 2H times 2W. Then, given a match M, we analyze the local 2 times 2 higher resolution feature regions and select the best match among them. This hard relocalization step can improve the localization accuracy by a factor of 2. In the second stage, we now analyze the local 3 times 3 feature regions around the previously computed matches. We then compute matching scores between the central feature in A and the 3 times 3 feature regions in B and vice versa, which are used to obtain a small displacement vector by means of a soft argmax operation, which consists of a weighted average of the displacement vectors using the soft maxed matching scores. Note that the output of this soft relocalization step is not constrained to lie in the grid of densely extracted features. For training, we adopt the weakly supervised approach of ANSINET, where supervision is given at the level of positive and negative image pairs. Positive pairs contain images where correspondences are expected to exist, while negative pairs contain images where no correspondences are expected to exist. Then, the training objective maximizes the average matching score for positive pairs and minimizes the average matching score for negative pairs. We first compare the performance of our method against NCNET using the same feature resolution and relocalization approach. Results show that sparse NCNET obtains significant speedups and memory savings while producing equivalent matching results. In addition, the proposed two-stage relocalization module brings additional improvements in the matching performance. Finally, sparse NCNET can be run with a finer feature grid of 200 times 150, which was not possible with NCNET due to the high memory requirements. This final approach produces the best performance. When compared to other state-of-the-art methods in the 8 patches sequences benchmark, Sparse NCNET obtains the best results for the viewpoint sequences and overall. We also evaluated our method in the InLog Indoor Visual Localization benchmark. Our method is evaluated on the same image pairs at the InLog baseline, but obtains more accurate camera poses, which result in a higher fraction of correctly localized queries. Finally, we evaluated our method on the challenging Ahen Day Night Localization benchmark which contains 98 9 times queries that must be localized. In this case, sparse NCNET obtains a similar performance to the state-of-the-art methods, getting the largest number of localized queries for the 1 meter threshold and differing only in one or two correctly localized queries for the other cases. We now present the qualitative results. Here, we show the top n matches output by sparse NCNET for different numbers of n. As it can be observed, matches tend to cluster around the most confident correspondences, demonstrating appropriation or diffusion behavior in sparse NCNET. Our method can obtain large number of semi-dense matches without sacrificing matching accuracy. Our method is also capable of, of obtaining correct correspondences in challenging day-night setting. For more information, please check out our paper or website.